It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Lurvig Acti Brewery and this is a can of their original sin. It's an imperial double chocolate stout coming in at 13.5% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. That was a bit of an exciting, well, from my part, lots of excitement on the introduction of that video and um, I like Lurvig I really do and I like the fact that they've given me here or well, not them personally but I have a can of this 13.5 percent imperial stout in my hand we got a one finger uh, tan colored head uh, it's a jet black beer in the glass good levels of carbonation hi Mike if you're watching <laughs> <laughs> Last time I seen Mike was uh, at Brewskival 2019, uh, the last time that I ever left this country. <laughs> right. Aroma. If, I, if anybody from Lurvig is watching, please send Mike the video. Um, aroma. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate, but not just hot chocolate. There's a beautiful, beautiful kind of almost like a liqueur. Uh, it can't be salivating. A chocolate liqueur aroma to this beer. Oh, it's almost whiskey and rum. Oh, caramel, cacao, oh my goodness me, this is incredible. I don't think I've ever put my nose to an Imperial Stout before. And before I've even tasted it, given a rating of 10 out of 10, the aroma of this beer alone is enough to give this whole beer without tasting it a 10 out of 10. It's pungent. You know some of these chocolate shops? Uh, I think we, in, in the UK we have Hotel Chocolate. Before even walking past their shop, you smell chocolate. It's the aroma of chocolate. Whether they're secretly pumping it out of the door um, to drag you in, you know, but it's the same thing with this beer. It's dragging me in. It, it, it's, it's messing with my senses. I'm picking up roasted malt as well and... Just honestly, one of the best, if not the best aromas of an Imperial Stout we've ever had on the channel. Let's dive in. Cheers. <laughs> wow. Wow, um, mm. oh, I'm conflicted. I'm really conflicted because I put so much. I put so much into the aroma that it's still good. It's still good. It's almost as if 
stouts, imperial stouts of that matter, have evolved. They've evolved to become really sweet. This beer, and I'm not afraid to say, because I, I, I like to think of myself as an honest reviewer, it's almost tooth achingly sweet. It's massively sweet. It really is, and I think what they, 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 they the brewer is what the brewer is trying to do, apart from sell the beer, of course, is and go in the direction of what most people want to drink. <clears throat> what the brewer is trying to do is create balance in an imperial stout, and I think that's a very very difficult thing to do. Naturally, Imperial Stouts want to do this. They want to do this naturally. It's all about the roasted malt which gives a natural bitterness and it's the hops that they add into the beer that also gives a natural bitterness. The roasted malt is there in abundance. You can get the bitterness on the back end but what they've tried to do is they've tried to steer the ship they try to balance that roasted malt over there with a shed ton of sweetness. And I mean, I mean a shed ton of sweetness. Almost, you can feel the sweetness of the beer almost tickling the tongue. Do you know when you have a, a meal in a pub and then you decide to have a bit of dessert and then by the time the dessert hits your table 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, you realised it was a complete mistake and you probably shouldn't have ordered the dessert in the first place because your main meal is still sitting down and taking its time to make its way to the stomach. And, but then you start to eat the dessert anyway. And then you, you find after one or two mouthfuls that you have this overriding feeling in your brain and your mouth that tells you to stop to stop eating this food because it's too sweet and it, it, you've had enough it's a natural kind of trigger in your brain to go stop stop there's there's an element of this beer that is telling me to stop it's so sweet. It is so sweet. So, so sweet. They've tried, they've really tried to balance the, the roasted malt with a ton of sweetness. I mean, a ton. But, but, it's called Original Sin. It's called Original Sin. It's not called Traditional Imperial Stout. It's not, you know, they've called it an Imperial Double Chocolate. So, more fool me for not reading the back of the can. More fool me for buying the beer in the first place. They're not hiding away from the fact that this is a double dessert sweet chocolate stout. And I have to take that into consideration when I, when I give a rating. Personally, personally I would prefer a traditional bitter full of oats. Great mouthfeel, Imperial Stout, personally. But as a reviewer, as somebody who's right on the back of the can, there's, this is double chocolate and it's sweet and it's supposed to be like this. And, and it does look good when you rock it back and forth in the glass. I mean, look at that. Then my honest opinion, as a reviewer, Uh, 
I want to say 7 out of 10. I want, I want to say 7 out of 10, but I'm going to go 7 out of 10. I am. I'm going to go with my instinct here and go 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. It's more sweet than chocolate. There is chocolate there. There is a chocolate malt there. There is a synthetic chocolate flavour there. There is bitterness on the back end. There's a ton of sweetness. But um, it's such a confliction. It's just such a confliction of, 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 of everything that, 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 that this beer wants to be. Um, 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.